I bet you guys don't actually realize this, but a majority of the community feels that Max C is an incredibly imbalanced card and should be hit, but there are people out there that think Max C is a perfectly well-balanced card, and the card doesn't get, doesn't deserve to be banned. And these are the same people that probably do unspeakable things to other people. But I think it's time for Max C to hit the dusty old trail, and that's going to be the topic of today's video. Maxi's been uh, ruining the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! since Storm of Ragnarok in February 2011. Now, that doesn't seem like a very long time in the grand scheme of Yu-Gi-Oh! And then you realize, oh shit, it's 2017. And it's been nearly six and a half years since this son of a bitch has been in our game. And granted, in the earlier stages of Yu-Gi-Oh!, I don't know if we... We really look to abuse Max C in the way that we have, but this is a very strong indicator of the way that the game progresses. And you guys really don't hear me talk about progression, evolution, and things like that because most people typically view evolution and progress in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh as just negative, power creep, you know, fuck this shit. But Max C at the time was a card that kind of balanced things out. And by balance things out, I mean, if you had Max C against Wind Up, you were in a pretty good position. We all know that. Uh, same thing, yeah, same thing like Dragon Rulers. Max C was a very powerful card. It, he's been here probably far too long. And Konami has made statements in the past talking about generic draw cards. And, you know, generic draw cards at some point. They're going to get removed from the game. I remember way back when Reborn Tengu existed, uh, many people talked about, you know, oh, well, Konami got a lot of shit because they printed Tengu to be a generic card that potentially every deck could use. And they've far since strayed away from that mentality because, unfortunately, producing generic style cards in today's day and age, eventually something's going to happen to them. And it's, it's really sad to say that. So now, we've gone through the same thing with Vanity's Emptiness. Vanity's Emptiness was a card that sat in binders. Woo! Common boxes for a very long time. And it wasn't until Dragon Ruler format where we started to really see it come out of its shell and see play. Now, Emptiness reached the point where it went to 1 and then the card eventually got banned. Now, it's a very powerful generic trap card, and now Max C has unfortunately reached the same fate. You know, C was a fair card at three because, yeah, both players can draw it, but now it's literally been replaced as the Vanity's Emptiness Syndrome. You know, if, if your opponent has it, they have it. Now, the card's at one as of making this video, and I'm a very strong believer that Maxi just needs to go. Now, at the beginning of the video, I said there are people out there that, for some reason, feel that there needs to be a Saki aspect to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And, <laughs> for some reason, Maxi's a necessary evil. I don't think that's proper. Um, ever since Emptiness has been removed from the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, Things have been a little bit better. They're not the best they could be by any stretch of the imagination, but they're fairer. And fair, I don't even think is the appropriate term to play it. Now, coming out of the whole zoo format here, people are like, but it stops zoo, it stops your opponent from overextending. Yes and no. It depends on how you want to look at it. We're going into a format right now where people are questioning if Max C should be main because of True Draco. You know, same thing with D-Barrier. I, I already don't want to see one of those cards in my opening hand. And as of making this video, um, a few people have strayed a little bit further away from it. But 
You have to ask yourself at this point in time if Maxi's at one, is it a staple? And I can't answer that question for you. Um, coming into this format, yes, I would have said 100% you should be maining it. But there's a very potent chance that Maxi is going to be banned from our game. Sure. Ash Blossom and Winter, whatever the fuck her name is, counters it. And you could argue that Maxi could go back to three. I don't think that's the appropriate argument, but seeing things from both sides of the spectrum, sure. For all intents and purposes, Maxi could go back to being at three because of Ash Blossom, but I don't, that's not going to be the case. The reality of the situation is, once we remove Maxi from the equation, it's it's going to hurt because you won't be able to punish the overextensions anymore. However, the overall game state effect that is caused by it, as long as other balancing aspects are fixed, as long as Zoo to some degree is checked, then I assume that things will be much better off. You know, Maxi... I've seen Maxi kill people in Paleozoic. Uh, that's always hilarious, but we're in a new era, a new age, and it's about time that we clean up one of the longest streamlining messes that this game has had. Now, I'm I'm no stranger to Maxi and its overbearing presence. No, I always tell my war story back in 2012. You know, like I had Maxi against uh, the bullshit heretic decks and. As long as Maxi was just a card that you would use to draw into and out, you know, Gore's Tragodia. Maxi, Maxi does nothing for turn one scenarios except for just give you additional resources to play in the next turn. You're not sifting for a hand trap to stop your opponent's overall play or things like that. You know, the game has progressed to just build a board and go, and it's it's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing either. I, I do like progress and evolution in terms of the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. However, it's just Maxi's overall existence is very futile. And uh, my friend Masao has he's made the statement, you know, zero or three on Maxi. We're either going full bore. And I think with C at one, this is a clear indicator that it's it's time to go, buddy. Time to get the fuck out of our game. And the other side of the spectrum over here, Maxi could go to fucking two for some goddamn reason. I wasn't going to bring this up, but it brings up a really interesting point here. The way that Konami sometimes operates in their mindset, they could very easily reverse this decision and put Maxi back to two. I don't know why, but I always got to give them shit because of some of the previous decision making that they've done. It, it just, it's such a Konami thing to do to just reverse what they've done and just go right back to to square one and that would be so bad i would not be happy with that situation at all that would just be such an ass backwards logic so moral of this video what what are you guys thinking about maxi do you think do you think it's time for the little bugger to get the fuck out of the tcg do you guys think for some reason he's going to stay? I I don't know. I, I my personal experiences are saying it's time to pack up, it's time to walk out. You know, it's evident that Zoo's still gonna be floating around. Yes, it does punish Dino Rars hella hard. That I don't know. It's not even a balancing force, it's just a card that forces a card that indirectly reads stop your turn or else your opponent's going to have like five extra resources and it doesn't even read that you know having a card that basically says that hidden card text hidden meaning it's one of the few cards in the game that truly does that it puts you into a, an awkward situation that if you keep playing that you'll get punished now if maxi has some sort of limitation you know draw up to three cards that turn sure they could very easily recreate these effects put these limiters on these cards you know that's literally what solemn strike was a fixed version of its previous selves i wouldn't doubt that we might not get a new version of maxi at some point uh to phase out the old one 
Actually, I think that'd be a much better idea. Um, limiting factors instead of just unlimited draws. Um, definitely good ways to fix things. But that'd be a discussion for another day. I would still like to see some comments uh, discussing the possibility of fixed versions of Max-C coming out in the future. Um, they've definitely proven to us that they can do this, and they will do this with certain card effects. It's definitely just interesting to see how they'll execute it. But yeah, that's all I got for this video today, guys. Leave a comment down below, please, and I'm out. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.